In our Health Watch, scientists around the world are committing entire labs to create a vaccine for the coronavirus. Just last week, researchers in Washington State conducted their first vaccine test in a human. Skylar Henry reports on another vaccine being developed in Maryland. Inside these test tubes and beakers could be a big step forward in the fight against the coronavirus. Dr. Gregory Glenn is the head of research and development for pharma tech lab Novavax. He and his team have spent weeks developing a vaccine. Vaccines have traditionally had an 8 to 10 year time frame for development. Clearly that's not a um, scenario that's acceptable here. So. So we're going to try to compress this timeline if at all possible. Researchers around the world are sharing information with one another, picking and plugging away at data scientists think will help fast track a vaccine. Dr. Glenn says he's close to a potential solution, spike protein or adjuvant that'll be used to block the virus from attaching to a host. I think a vaccine is going to have to have a very high level of immune responses to block that because it's, it's going to be extremely hard to interrupt that binding. And that, of course, interrupting the binding will keep you from getting sick. Scientists in Houston, Texas, say they're building off of a vaccine they created to fight another type of coronavirus, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS. If you learned how to make a vaccine for MERS, you should have 75% of the, of the knowledge you need uh, to get to the next vaccine. That's how come we were able to, how we were able to do it um, that quickly. I walk down the halls in our lab and say, is this going to work? And they just get a grin on their face and say yes. Dr. Glenn says the path to a treatment is complicated, but he's cautiously optimistic. What does this look like six months from now, a year from now, in terms of not only the development of a vaccine, but just how severe this could get? Well, from a vaccine development, I think we'll have evidence in humans that it could work. Dr. Glenn hopes to start testing in people by the end of spring. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Gaithersburg, Maryland. Now, doctors at the Moderna lab in Seattle say while a commercially available vaccine would not be available for another year to 18 months, they are looking for an emergency use vaccine that could be available for healthcare professionals by the fall of this year. Maureen.